Hi, I'm Ben, and I'm here with my dad today. What's up? We're going to uh, Liverpool today. We're going to spend two days in Liverpool. We're traveling from London. Uh, we've got a bunch of stuff planned. Uh, but first, we got to get there, and we got to take the train. So we're going to show you how we do that. Uh, first, we got to take the train, then transfer, and then take the uh, direct train up. Uh, luckily, we are staying right next to one of the train stations. So here we go. We're staying at the Claremont here, which is right next to the big Charing Cross station. So we're going to take this train uh, to north and then take the direct train to Liverpool. First mystery solved is we actually have to go underground for the Charing Cross station to go to the northern line. We took the uh, Charing Cross to Houston and now we're going to switch and get on the train directly to Liverpool. We've got our platform assigned, it's number 13, down this way. Then looking like a true uh, boxcar kid getting on the train with his bag. So that was a bit of an adventure. Um, for the record, our route from Westminster was from Charing Cross to Euston, and then that's on the underground, and then we transferred to the rail line to Liverpool. And luckily, um, Mama and I are lived in Chicago for 10 years and have done tons and tons of miles on the L so we could figure it out but it was a little confusing um, trying to transfer between the two different lines and here's where we get off the Crown Hotel it's the first thing we see here's the rail station what if we were standing at Crown what if we were staying at now we're gonna figure out where to go so can you can you um, tell what the original plan was to um Go to the Liverpool soccer game. The what football happened? game. Yeah, what happened? The queen died, so sadly, but um, so everything closed down. Including that um, match. So yeah. our, the train, I think, was basically empty because uh, nobody was traveling to Liverpool because they canceled the match, which is going to be rescheduled, but we won't be in this country when it does. So that's a big loss. So we're trying to figure out what to do, and we're just kind of walking around all these shops now kind of in the downtown area towards the river and just kind of wandering around i think the first stop is going to be some shopping and we're going to go to h&m because they just closed down our h&m back in cincinnati and this is a huge one so we walked into the shopping district so we might as well do some shopping since we have no other plans so we met a nice couple at when we were having breakfast and they told us about uh, the cavern at Matthew Street, which is all about the Beatles. So since, since we, so I guess one good thing about the match being canceled is we, we have no plans. And another good thing is that the match tickets were like 1200 bucks. So now we have all this extra money to spend uh, as well. So uh, we're gonna walk down uh, Matthew Street before I think then going down to the pier. But, Oh, this is really cool. Album up there, this bar. Those are all records, number one hits by Liverpool's artists. I'm glad we didn't miss this. No. I don't know if I really need to go in anywhere, but it's all kind of just Beatles. It's all just Beatles themed bars. You like, you 
you like this music? Yeah. Look at that video game. Oh my gosh, that's crazy. Next up, checking out the pier. Look through the battleship. Or look through the telescope to the battleship. I'm getting oriented. That one right over there. You, you put a lock on the gate. Been here for a long time. Is it working? Yeah, I can see it. Really? What does it look like? What does it look like? It's like a battleship. Is it cool? Yeah, it has lifeboats. Yeah, is that the, that's the red things? Yeah. Oh, there's another boat coming, tugboat. Yeah, I see like a castle stand out there. Yeah, is it cool? Yeah, that castle stand. Yeah. What'd you find? Big horn? Check through here, and then you oh, guys. Oh, you're gonna, yeah. And see, then you guys. See if it, well, blow in it. I think you're supposed to blow in it. It's a two. It's a horn. Well, it's blocked Yell in it. Yell. Ah. <laughs> yeah, I don't think it works. Look, there's maybe even more than twenty-six thousand. Look, it's still going. Huh? There's even more locks. It just keeps going and going and going. <laughs> what? What? Look at this one. You found another cool one. Yeah, that's yeah. A, that's a real that's a real old one. Hun, but this one says dad and grandma. Yeah, your dad and granddad. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and that one says Barry and Ellen 2021. That one's only a year old. Yeah. Look at this one. Busting out of that one. Yep, that one's breaking. Hey, look at this one. Big, oh yeah, big heart one. Yeah. Oh, this one, this one has... Um, Jack and oh. Jane. In the water. That's crazy. It's like... That, that's as good as, that's better than Coney Islands, I think. That's cool. It's in Liverpool, so which makes it better. Well, the Coney Island is supposed to be the biggest one, in, I guess, in North America. So, we're not in North America. <laughs> but it is the biggest um, pool in the world. We did skip the London Eye when we were in London. We walked right past it, right under it, and didn't go on it. So, I think, and then Ben's running to it, I think we're going to do the ferris wheel here in liverpool to make up for it and i cannot can you pronounce what's this called fridge oh i want to sit down oh it's rocking it's, it's rocking already imagine it no, goes we're backwards uh, imagine it well goes it's going backwards for me Sit on this side and just go backwards. What if it goes backwards this way? Mama will switch. I will switch. Right. The other big advantage of this one compared to the London Eye is that we get our own pod. Not that we're antisocial or anything, but it's nice to have your own space rather than sharing it with I don't know. Like, what'd you say? There's thirty other people in the thirty other people in the pod per in, yes, in London. The London. Oh, oh now look. Oh, you can okay. see the jump pad all the way from the top. Uh, yeah, people are actually in the water. Don't shake. It's crazy. Dad, don't shake it. Man, we should have got the VIP one. Okay. This is, I Here's can top handle. right here. I can handle this. If we're as tall as that needle over there, whatever that needle is. Sky needle? Oh, there's someone paddle boarding. Hey, Dad, can you go on that side? Yeah. Oh my gosh, Dad, it looks like you're going to use What? Oh, yeah. Wow, it's so close. Look at that. Barely misses it. It almost hits one of those bolts. Yeah. Oh, I like that water playground. I think that's fancy. Yeah. There's a new crew getting ready to go out. What crew? Oh yeah, there's there's the changing there's changing rooms right there to get in your wetsuit. People get into their wetsuit. Oh, another another The water's got to be freezing. Okay, we had a bet. Of how many times it would go around. I won because I guessed four and oh, five. You just okay, yeah, I guessed two. Mama guessed three. Three. What did you guess? I guessed four and five. And what, what was it? It was five. So what do you win? A ride on the Ferris wheel. <laughs> <laughs> and while in Liverpool, we 
had to visit our family's home, which is this one right here. It's one of the prettier ones on the street. It's got this little rose in the window, 121 Max Road on this long row of houses. It goes all the way down here. Okay, story time. We just got to our hotel, which is right across from uh, Anfield Park, but we almost had a heart attack. We're staying in kind of like an Airbnb. It's not an Airbnb. I think it's a regular hotel. It's almost like a, a bed and breakfast because they're going to give us breakfast, but, and I'll show you when we walk out because we're going to walk over to Anfield here in just a second to see if the store is open. There is no signage at all. And the problem is they thought we canceled because everybody else canceled because there's no match uh, today. So everybody canceled. We're the only ones staying in the, in the whole eight room uh, bed and breakfast hotel. So we were walking around and we called, um, who did we book it through? Priceline. Priceline and their customer service couldn't find anything. And we were like scrambling, like, did we get scammed? Um, you know, what, what the heck is going on? And Eventually, we they were able to get the phone number of the person and they gave us the access code to the door and the address because we didn't even have the address. Uh, I think I'm rambling a little bit because my heart is still uh, racing, but um, the, the hotel room is super nice, super clean, and we get free tea and they, they're going to cook us breakfast in the morning. Uh, they were super nice when they came, so no problem. It's just a really weird situation and timing where they couldn't get a hold of us. They figured we canceled, so they locked everything up. And uh, then there was no signage in the front, and we didn't know the address. So we were just kind of walking around in circles like, oh, God, somebody just took our money. Um, and now there's no hotel, and we have nowhere to stay, and we're just standing out in the, in the street, basically. So I'll show you kind of the situation and why we found it a, a little hard to to find or why why it was hard to find when I walk out here in just a second all right so here's exactly what I'm talking about there's these just row houses here and they all kind of look the same so we were looking for an actual like hotel with hotel signage but this is actually it it's just 135 priority road and I'll do a review here like I always do um, of this particular I guess we're gonna call it a bed and breakfast um, here coming up soon but uh, I just wanted to kind of show you how that kind of situation worked but right over here and we'll walk up to it because we're going to go right over here uh, around this corner you can see Anfield um, the park right from that corner so we're going to walk over there and check out the um, the real big uh, Liverpool FC store okay so even though match is canceled we still had to come and see Anfield and uh it's like it's like that scene in National Lampoon's Vacation where they pull right up to the park and then the moose tells them that the park is closed. That's that's kind of what it feels like flying halfway across the world for this match and then it being canceled. But first impressions of Anfield is it's smaller than what I thought it would be. Uh, you know, we're just used to these gigantic uh, sports stadiums, these crazy like billions the of dollar stadiums. Yeah, Reds and Bengals are both huge. And they're not even really big stadiums as far as in the United States goes. So I'm not saying that's a bad thing. It'd probably have been great to see a match here because probably no bad seats. You know, I don't know. We'll be back. But that's just kind of my first impressions. We're going to check out the store, see if that's open. We don't even know. Just can't. Like sit down in the bleachers. No, there's just no players. <laughs> probably a much, this is probably a crazy different experience than what, what it's usually like. I don't know if anybody out there is used to this. I'm assuming it's probably really crowded most of the time. Oh, this is like three times the size of the other one. This is unbelievable. I can't, you know, I can't imagine them producing this much merchandise. All right, so here's option number one, the ski cap for Ben. Mm. You think, you like it? Yeah. It's warm, I think, right? Yeah. All right, here's option two for Ben then, with the, with the logo there, just a plain, nice sweater, right? Mm-hmm. Two for two? Two for two. All right. 
Here's option one for Dan. Ben, what do you think? Yes or no? Yeah? And you know what, Ben? I think we went four for four, which never happens when you're trying stuff on, but when you're at the Liverpool store, I guess it does, so I think we got it. Here, let's see the haul. So that's everything that everything that we showed you, and then one extra thing, Ben needed carrying bags, we got that too. So now I think it's off to find some place to eat. Look, I Look at these. Check out these candies. Five gummy rings Show me, on yeah. my ring. Gummy rings? What else? Show the egg. Oh, the egg. Look at that gummy egg. And what are they? Anything else cool? Like that root beer? Tell me my breakfast. Yeah, a little root beer, a little egg. Have you ever seen candy like that before? No. You used to have candy like that all the time. You missed one. Two. Yeah. Nice. Um, I like the nerdy guy. That's called Derp. Hey. All right. So last stop of the day, we're gonna get food and a drink. The church, this old church building converted into a, a pub. I'll show you real quick inside. This is, I actually found this um, when I was researching going to a match. Another YouTuber uh, made a video about this particular place and it's pretty cool. So I'll show you this. This is where I'll leave you. Um, I hope you like this video. Subscribe and all that kind of stuff. Check it out. What do you say? You think this place is cool? Yeah, I like the horses. But that, that those two lottery games, they're scales. Oh, it's a play area! Yeah, yeah, you saw that. Did you see that? Yeah. You can read, huh? Yeah, I can obviously read. Hey. Yeah, there's a step there. Obvious. I'll be. Good recommendation by our friend. Yes. Oh yeah, I won this. What is it? Mini squishy ball. Yeah? You have one of those already, right? I know, but I'm gonna cut this one open. You're gonna play the claw machine later? Yeah, probably. Look. Unless, unless it's one pound, then Right. Yep, two pounds. There, right, here we go. Game time now. Let's go, let's go. Oh man, the claw's so tiny. I know, that's the thing. It's like it, it is open, but it that is a little. You're gonna do the look around. I, I got you. Come on. Ooh! Yes! Yes! Let me see it. Look at that. Nice job. Dude, that's actually pretty good riding. <laughs> One handed? Riding like a um, Pee Wee. Oh, yeah, like Pee Wee. Yeah! Oh. <laughs> Alright! <laughs>